Okay, physical properties. Okay, so this would be for chapter three, still in uh, module two. So the physical properties are going to be characteristics that are observed or measured without changing the identity of the substance. So physical, my physical characteristics as I have brown curly hair, blue eyes, etc. So the physical are those ones that we can observe without changing or looking too deep. Okay, these are going to include the shape, the physical state, boiling and freezing points, density and the color of that substance. So our core chemistry skill would be identifying physical and chemical changes. Uh, physical properties of copper. You can see shiny copper over here. It is used in cookware. It's a good conductor of heat. My aunt actually has some very nice copper pot pots. She hates them because you have to clean them all the time, but they're very, very pretty and they're great uh, conductivators. I just made up a word of uh, conductors of heat, okay, and therefore electricity as well. So copper has these physical again, to, to the eye, to the naked eye, physical characteristics, where it's a beautiful reddish-orange color. It's shiny. Again, it's an excellent conductor of heat and electricity. It's solid at 25 degrees Celsius. The melting point is 1,083 degrees Celsius, and the boiling point would be 2,567 degrees Celsius. So melting is when it would be like turning to liquid cheese, right? Just melty, but boiling is when it actually starts to boil. You guys, of course, know this, right? So um, let's look and say, okay, identify the state of matter for each of the following. Vitamin tablets, eye drops, vegetable oil, a candle, or air in a tire. All right, so our vitamin tablets are going to be solid our eye drops are liquid vegetable oil is liquid candle is going to be a solid where air in a tire is going to be a gas so those are pretty straightforward all right physical changes occur in a substance if there's a change in the state if there's a change in the physical shape or if there's no change in the identity and composition of the substance so some examples of physical changes would be when water boils to form a vapor. Sugar dissolves in water to form a solution. Copper is drawn into thin copper wires. Paper is cut into funny confetti, right? Or pepper is ground into flakes. Those are all examples of physical changes. So let's practice. So I classify each of the following as either a change in state or change of shape. Right. So uh, when we chop a long into log into kindling, hopefully I'll have campfire later, then that would be a change of shape. When we're bo boiling water in a pot, that's a change of state from liquid to gas, right? Uh, when we're changing, uh, or when ice cream is melting, I had really good ice cream last night too. Anyway, that's a change of state. Ice forming in the freezer, you're changing the state and if we're cutting dough into strips, that would be changing of the shape. So short and sweet video.